my friends and welcome back to VSL's YouTube channel. Vincent here. I hope you're doing great and that you're excited for Black Friday. Yes, this is that time of the year again, when Vienna Symphonic Library presents its most exciting deals. And this year will be a blast, starting November the 20th. Rumor has it that two of their fabulous synchron pianos will be available at special pricing. On one side, the Synchron Concert D274, the most famous Steinway model in the world. Every decent concert hall has at least one. Carnegie Hall, Philharmonie de Paris, Royal Harbert Hall, Vienna Concert House, you name it. It's like a Rolls Royce of pianos. On the other side, the Fazioli F308, the newest addition to their Synchron Piano series. The world's largest piano in serial production, yet handcrafted with an immense sense of detail, with a major technical innovation, a fourth pedal. Pretty much the Ferrari of pianos. Spoiler alert, I've never tried the Fazioli. If you stay with me, we'll explore it together. If you want to use this year's Black Friday to buy your first Synchron piano, or if you already have one of the two, or if you're hesitating whether to get the standard or full library, don't worry, I'm here to show you around. Today, I'm a pianist talking with other pianists. As a matter of fact, I've played on a Steinway D with my wife not so long ago. What's important for me when choosing a virtual piano, shall we? What guides me is primarily the music I want to make. Even if in the end you play the same note on both pianos, the two instruments are different and each excels in different fields. I've played several Steinways in my life and all of them are monsters of power and brightness. <laughs> it sounds already bombastic and just out of the box. After you just made one click, it's already an extremely satisfying experience. And there are several presets here. Just for fun, let's try the pop one. I'm more interested in getting the kind of feedback that I have from behind. When I hear how the sound propagates, I think the player preset suits my needs perfectly. That's gorgeous. What amazes me is the quality of the timber. I mean, listen. Wow. Like pristine, crystalline top end and Growing low end, like extremely powerful and bombastic. That completely suits that type of piano because normally they are fighting against full symphonic orchestras, so they must cut out. <laughs> Concert D274 allows you great expressivity. And when you close your eyes, you really get the impression that you are in the synchron stage behind the stain weedy. Now, there are many things that are shown here on the first page that you can't do on a real piano. You can also add reverb, you can put less or more. Let's try more. Zero. It changes the body sensation that you have when you play a note, like for example. It 
It's a bit too bulky for me. The volume of the sympathetic resonance between the strings. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one, timber shift. If you want to make it less bright, reduce the value here. Let's try to put it at the lowest. <laughs> it almost sounds like a piano forte or like a prepared piano. No, the reverse? 12! I'm not sure about this. <laughs> now we are more closer to the harpsichord, right? <laughs> Here you have the three pedals and they are all working perfectly. The sostenuto, okay. Una corda, of course. At first glance, you just have everything you need. But wait, because there's so much more. In a recording situation, you don't have a free choice of microphones. Once again, VSL gives us the choice on a silver platter. So in the standard library, you got the room mix, which is a combination of all the different signals of all the other mics with a great sensation of the synchron stage Vienna acoustics. <laughs> And still, in the standi library, you got the most important mics in the Decatri configuration. So like you have the condenser one. You've also got the mid one. The main one. Rachmaninoff. The main C is the mono signal from the main one that we just saw. That gives a bit more of definition to the signal. All the other mics are available in the full libraries and it gives you more options when it comes to mixing without forgetting the surround microphones. Let's check them out. First off, you have two other closed microphones. You have a ribbon one. You have a tube one. Here you got the surround and high microphones. And the high sore. I think that we are getting close to that Deutsch Grammophone Stirler piano sound that every pianist wants, at least me. Let's go now to the edit view and this is where the magic really begins. You can change the EQ, the pitch, the tuning, the volume, the dynamic range of every key. You can also fine tune the velocity curve so your instrument really answers the way you want it to. We are offered a stellar top tier piano sample under optimal conditions and even beyond that we can shape both the sound and the behavior of the instrument. 
<laughs> that's cosmic, that's mind-blowing. I'm at loss for words. Before continuing with the Fagioli F308, don't forget to give a like or to share this video if you like it, and to follow the Facebook and Instagram account of VSL, without forgetting the new section from the website. So now, the Fagioli moment. This is the first note I'm gonna play on the Fagioli. <laughs> it's not only really warmer than the D274 in my opinion, but also gentle, like the sound, it kinda wraps you. Oh yeah, so sweet. And the low end? I wonder how it works with the player preset. I mean... Completely! It has less low end than the Steinway, but it's normal because as the Fazioli is more known to be used in the jazz concert, well, at least the bass player can stick out. Let's try with the fourth bit, I'm so curious about it. And, um, with the una corda. This works so well. I mean, that's a charm. Let's try with the timber shift to make it a bit more harsh. And let's put up the Body sensation up to the top, it's a big piano, so the sensation of the body should be big. Yeah. Ooh. But here you got the low end. Let's explore the color of the microphones. It is extremely inspiring, but not for classical music here. I love so very much the Ribbon one, it makes me think so much about a very famous concert from Keith Jarrett. Let's have the tomb one. At the same time, clear and sweet. Yeah, more room information in this one. An 
alternative here. No way. <laughs> Main one. Then most interesting ones surround and the high. Super nice. And if we go to the edit and let's make like a, let's make a, another curve, like more drastic, like a bit like this. Let's see, fast repeating notes. I mean, for another kind of musical context, the Fazioli is just, wow, it blows my mind, really. And I've been so glad to try it for the first time with you today. Whew. That's all for me, folks. I hope that I've been of some help, and I hope that you learn a few tricks along the way. Now, have fun with your synchron piano, and have an amazing Black Friday. Bye. <laughs>